you ever been on a first date so horrible, so awkward, that you'd be okay dropping dead of a heart attack if it meant the date was over? Tell me if the date you're about to see is that bad Miss? or worse. Miss? Yes, hello. Can I help you? Yes, can I get a table for two? Of course, I have it right here for you. May I? Oh, thank you. Hi, Mom. Oh, is he there yet? Is he as cute in person as he is in his pics? Well, I don't know, Mom, because he's not here. What does that mean? Is he standing me up? Maybe he's not okay, really baby, interested. Okay, calm down. I'm sure he's just probably stuck in traffic or something. Look, I know you haven't dated much, but just take it easy. Uh, sorry, a uh, table for Melissa? Uh, yes. The other member of your family over here? Thanks. Oh my gosh, he's here. I gotta go. Okay, good luck. Melissa. Yes, uh, Miles? Hi. Uh, Hi. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm late. I am. Um... Are you? I hadn't noticed. Yeah, well, uh, the reason is... Melissa? I... Oh, so great to meet you. Oh, you're just as lovely as your pictures. Did you lose a few pounds since they were taken? Uh, she's lovely. Quite a catch, huh? Yes, Mom, she's... This is your mom? Yeah. Oh, please. Call me Christine, or Chris. Uh, sit, sit. Why are we standing around? Your mom is joining us on our date? Oh, please, you won't even notice that I'm here. Um, you see, Miles was very worried about the date, so I thought, as a mother, what can I do to help? So I'm helping, helping. That's very nice of you. Uh... Where is the waiter? I just saw him. A very important table here. So sorry for the delay. Now, how can I help you? So. I'm gonna have a gin tonic, and these two will have uh, virgin Bloody Marys. Very good. I loved them when I was your age. And we will also have a pre-special, the one on the board out there. Excellent. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Okay, that sounds great. Uh... So, M Melissa, I'm glad Pete introduced us. He said that you like playing tennis? Yes, since I was... Oh, don't worry, honey. He has the ability of a drunken squirrel. <laughs> Mom. Honesty is the best policy, dear. She was gonna act interested in tennis, and you were gonna offer to play one day, and then she would see your pathetic ability in sports. So, let's just avoid this dating cliche. Salads! Yummy. And a Virgin Bloody Mary. Thanks. Gin and tonic. Thank you. Here we are. Thank you. But first, a toast. To taking that first step towards a life together, hand in hand. Because love is a journey, it's not a destination. To the young love. You don't have to. I'm sure it's fine. Are you okay, dear? Oh, it was my toast, wasn't it? it it's all right. It's, there is no shame in crying. It's okay. You two start eating and I'm gonna go wash my hands. A bit of a germaphobe. I can see you're not. It's okay. I'll see you. Lots of uh, kale in the salad, huh? This date isn't exactly what I was expecting. I know, I know. She just really wanted to be here. Is that what 
you want it? I mean, you need to stand up to her. She's so overbearing and inappropriate. It's not even normal that she's here. I know, but... Look, Melissa, I really like you. But ever since my dad left us a year ago, she has been so lost. Every single day, she's been so upset. And uh, when I told her that I was going on, on a date with you, she felt really happy for me. She just needs to be exposed to something good for once, you know? You'd really do anything for her, wouldn't you? She's my mom. Okay. I'll really try to get through tonight. Um... Mm. Um, very uncomfortable, but I'll try. Oh, it's Thank a kale you. party. Kale, actually, I have found, is the best roughage to get the bowels moving. Uh, Melissa, how many times a day do you get a bowel movement? Uh, I'm not sure. Mm. Then come, 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 come. It's a kale party. Can I get your coat, sir? Oh, yeah, thanks. Excellent. Uh, sir, excuse me. Yes. My water has uh, evaporated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very funny, ma'am. Very good. So, um, are you from here originally? Yep. Born here, can't even say I've traveled most of well, Miles was born in Chicago. We, we just moved here five years ago. Do you want to see some baby pictures? Oh, no, Mom, I don't think she wants to I see. would love to see them. Here he is at two days old. Mm -hmm. Oh, he is so tiny. You are so tiny. Yeah, babies are small, who knew? Uh, that's the first time they brought him to me at the hospital. You know, skin-to-skin -skin contact is very important. Now, Christine, you are glowing. Oh. He looks so happy. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, oh that's a birthing photo. You, you know, he really tore me open, huh? Uh, you know, it's incredible how much blood you can I lose. I have to go to then... the bathroom. Oh, I'll come with you. Melissa, are you okay? Listen, us women, we have to stick together, all right? Like, even, even if you and Miles don't work out, like, you can still call me anytime. Do you need a tampon? I have a couple of sizes if you want to pick. No, thank you. I think I'm gonna stay here a while. Please don't wait for me. Oh, oh, it's kale. Like I told you, it's kale, right? Listen, just enjoy. Uh, take your time. How's the date going? Spill the beats. Mom. Baby, what's wrong? I'm in a nightmare. I've never been more uncomfortable in my entire life. But I can't leave because she's so needy, because she's so sad. And he's letting her do whatever she wants because he cares about her so much and... Hold on, hold on. Who's she? Is there someone else with you? His mom? She's... So lonely, I'm, I'm sure she means well, but... What? I just got an idea. I'll just refill this for you. One more, please. Of course. Thank you. Kids, you really have to be careful with relationships these days. Miles has a very tender heart. I, I, I couldn't bear it if anyone broke it. Mom. I mean, you're gonna treat him well, right? You have experience with relationships. How many men you've been with? Mom. I, I'm sorry, at this age it's boys probably. How many boys you've been with? Oh my God. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. 
Listen, I'm just trying to protect you, okay? Well, good evening, everybody. How's it going? I'm so sorry I'm late. Hi. Mwah. Mwah. Am I too late? I'm sorry, I meant to be here sooner, but you know how it is. Sure, mom. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, I'm Kendra, Melissa's mom. Hello. Nice to meet you. Christine. Oh, and you must be Miles. How's it going, hot stuff? Uh. May I? Sir, I'm sorry. Could I? Thank you so much. All righty. Thank you. Oh, my God. What? Christine, I have this ability to sense when a woman is on her period. And I'm getting really strong signs from you. Age 11. Um, Am I right? I I don't think it's an appropriate thing to ask, but um, 10, actually. <gasps> oh, my God! Uh, ten, you, I'm a 10. We're tensies. Are we? We're such tensies. Hey, uh, me and Miles are going to get dessert. Oh, you go do you, babies. Go, go. Christine, anyway, what's your sign? Um, Leo? Oh, my God. You're such a Leo. A spoon for you. Thank you. Three, two, one. Christine, are you right. ready? Go. Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 my God! Oh. You get him, girl. You get him. Did okay. you see that? Did I did see that. that. Drinks for everybody. <laughs> oh my God, she's actually enjoying herself. On me. On me. On me. <laughs> I asked my mom to come here so you and I can talk. So for the rest of this conversation, you're going to focus on me and not your mom. Got it? Got it. You seem nice. I like you. I like you too. Tonight has been one of the worst nights of my life, but that's okay because you were helping your mom, which is Sweet. So this is what's going to happen next. Tomorrow you're going to call me and set up another date. And you're not going to tell your mom. If that date goes well, there's gonna be a third, which your mom also won't know about. Are you following me? Yes, ma'am. Good. We need a picture. That's fine. Ah. Ah. I hadn't seen her this happy in a long time. Thank you. My pleasure. And that's the date. What did you think? Was it the worst you've ever seen or all's well that ends well? You see? It's not that hard. Now we just have to do the same with Elizabeth. I, I can't. I, I, I really can't. Every time I see her, I just don't know what to do. And The dance is next week. You, you don't have much time, Ben. Dude, I've never asked a girl out on a dance before. In fact, I've never asked a girl out anywhere. <laughs> so what? I've never gone out with a girl before. You see? Even more reason to ask her out. Trust me, you don't want to be that guy who leaves school without kissing a girl. <laughs> Rip off that band-aid, man. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Let's do what? Invite Elizabeth to the dance. You're gonna do what? I'm going to ask Elizabeth. I didn't hear you! I'm gonna invite Elizabeth to the dance. Okay, calm down, okay? Let's go. <laughs> I was thinking going to front dress shopping tonight. Yeah, definitely. Would you like to join? Sure. Dude, I can't invite Elizabeth to the dance. Bro! What happened to that five minutes ago, all the hyped and confident Ben? What if she'll say no? What if she laughs at me? <laughs> Why would she? You're a decent looking, relatively smart guy. Come on, let's go. Yeah, sure, like the fuck you want. So, yeah. Okay, I, I need to go already. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.
No, no, I'm so sorry. Uh, my friend. It's okay. Me. I... It's okay. Don't worry. About it. <sighs> yeah, really, I really am. <laughs> sorry. My name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth Brooks, right? You know my name? Uh, yeah, we um, you know, you know, like we um, we went to gym class together when like in, like in third grade, I think. <laughs> Sorry, we what? We, we what? We had we had gym gym class in third grade. Oh, could be. Um. Uh, oh, I'm Benjamin, but you can call me Ben. And you can call me Beth. Beth, that's a beautiful name. Thanks. <laughs> See you, Ben. See you, Ben. Uh, do you maybe wanna... What? Uh, nothing. Yeah, my bad, no, no. Okay. See ya. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. You just will never talk to me again. <laughs> Come on, it wasn't that bad, brother. Let's go. This time, Ben, you have to do it now. Wait, why now? Well, if you chicken out again, I'll ask her. Dude, that's not fair. Well, you know I'll do it. Okay, okay, I'll ask her. Okay, you see that girl in front of Elizabeth? Let's go together. I'll ask Kyler to the dance, and you invite Elizabeth. Deal? So yeah, your your dress was really cute. Mm -hmm. I love the dress. Well. Ben, come come here. Sit with us. Guys, I'm talking. Oops. Somebody asked what. Well, bonjourno, ladies. Skyler, I was wondering if you would like to go to the dance with me. M me. Uh, we've never even talked before. Why me? <laughs> well, I always thought you were gorgeous. And maybe I was a little afraid to ask you out. Sure, I'll go. <laughs> Great. I can't wait. Same. So what about you? Uh, are you going to the dance? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm planning to, you know, I'm... Just, yeah, probably. Do you already know who you're going with? In fact, he actually hasn't asked anyone yet. I actually wanted to like, come here and like, say that I... Mm -hmm. Hey, cutie. How are you doing today? Travis, stop it. You know I don't like it when you call me like that. Yeah, sorry. This uh, little cupcake mm. doesn't like it when I call her cute Nick Nick. Travis. <laughs> sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> ben, um, you were saying something. Yeah, actually, I actually yeah, have classes soon, so I, I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, um, it was nice talking to you. Okay. See you later. How do you want that Ben! Come here! Hey! Ben! What the hell was that? I thought we agreed to do this together! Dude, I don't know, like I was about to, but then that Travis guy just showed up and I got nervous. Yeah, well you should be nervous. Did you see that guy? I can see a six pack through his shirt. <laughs> like, what am I gonna do? I mean, you need to ask her out before Travis does. And you need to go big and romantic. She needs to be impressed. Will you help me out? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what to do. Let's go. Wait. Hi. So, 
What, did you invite me here to show me your cleaning skills, or...? Uh, no, like, this and the letter is actually Isaac's idea. Yeah, I thought it was pretty <laughs> stupid. I, you probably think it's stupid as well. No, no, no. I liked it. Really? You did? Y yeah, it, it... It's really beautiful. Thanks, I, I like... For hours, I had to decide on which one to buy you. Hours? Well, not hours, you know, more like, uh... <laughs> I, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> okay, so why, why did you invite me here? I, I actually wanted to invite you to, like, to, to dance. And, yeah. What? I want to invite you to a dance and like to also practice for, for, you know, for, for like the school dance. Now? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Did you want me to say no? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, is, yes is good. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to dance. It's okay. Put your hand on my back. What? If you want to learn how to dance properly, put your hand on my back. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's try to do waltz. So step front with right, side with left, and bring your right foot together. Okay. Okay, good. Let's try without looking at your feet now, okay? Now do it with your left leg. <laughs> I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. No, I mean, <laughs> not gonna lie, it hurts a lot, but it's fine. <laughs> not the first time this happened to Is me. there anything I can do? No, don't worry about it. It's probably not the right time. I was wondering if... If? If you wanted to go to the dance with me. I'd love to. I really would. But yesterday, Travis invited me to go with him. And I said yes. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you know, I'm glad you are going with Travis. You're glad? Yeah, he's probably a better dancer than me anyway. Ben, wait! Ben! I don't want to be here. Bro, relax. Elizabeth's not the only fish in the sea. I'm sure there'll be lots of single girls craving for your attention. I don't want to dance with the. I want to dance with them. Come on, stop being so grumpy. This is not the last school dance. I'm sure you can just invite her next time. Have a nice evening, bud. I'm gonna go get my girl. My bracelet, she's wearing it, and she's alone. What are you doing, you jerk? I told you no!
I'm sorry, Ben. I should have known. They're perfect for each other. Everyone knows it. They're both smart. They're both popular. They're both good looking. Who could ever think that Beth could like someone like me? Hey, hey, hey. You'll find some other girl. Someone way better than Beth. Trust me. I don't want any other girl. I know. I know. But there's nothing much we can do now. Let's go back to the dance. We'll talk about it tomorrow. I can't go back. I can't see them together. I... Well, they left. What? Neither of them are there anymore. I heard rumors they, they left together. Hey, come on. Let's go. There's only half an hour left. I'll, I'll drop you off after. She doesn't even care about my gift anymore. Dance is over, guys. Time to go home. Enjoy the after party. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Take care. Hey, dance is over. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't notice. Just get home safe, all right? Ben? Beth. Uh, I thought you left with Travis. I, I did leave, I but then I, I realized I forgot something imp important. I see you found it now. You came back for this? It's important to you? Of course it's important to me. It was a gift from you. But... I thought that... Do you still want to dance with me? Uh... Yeah. I'd love to. Um... Isn't, uh, Travis waiting for you? What? No. <sighs> Look, he tried to kiss me after I repeatedly told him that I didn't want that. So I slapped him in the face and I left. There's actually... Uh, you, you were saying? <laughs> uh, I was saying that there's actually only one person that I want to kiss. Sorry, I didn't mean to. How dare you? Cheating on me with my best friend, ex-best friend, a night before our wedding. You didn't leave me any options. You were so busy planning the wedding. 
I had to find someone else. Oh, so the first thing you do is run to my best friend. I could have gone to anyone. There is no woman that would reject me. Oh, let me be the first one then. You always tell me I'm not good enough. Let me make this easier for you. The wedding is off. I'm sure your father will be delighted to hear this after putting so much money into the wedding. Then I'll marry someone else. Really? And you think you can find someone better than me in one day? Oh, anyone is better than you. talk about it um <laughs> why are you looking at me like that marry me <laughs> what marry me <laughs> I don't know what to say I'll give you money. Ten thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. Whatever you want. Just name me the price. And I'll, I will. I will. I will. Crap. What happened? I left my purse up in my room. So we have to go up. Where did she go? Who's this guy? This is the guy I'm going to marry. This guy? A plumber? Oh, oh no, I'm not. Shut up. Natalie, my angel? You are engaged. The wedding is planned. It's fully paid for. Your guests are arriving. We are not going to cancel it. But Daddy, Edward cheated on me. <laughs> so what? All men do that. Do you think this guy won't cheat on you? You don't even know him. Wait a minute, I, I would never cheat. Edward will give you the most comfortable life possible. He has more than enough money. What does this guy have? First of all, I would love and respect my wife. And I'm not a plum. <laughs> love? Sweetie, love is worthless. I've made my decision. And I said no. Let's go. Honey, if you go now, I will cut off all of your credit cards. You will not be able to pay off your student debts. You will have no place to live, and you will spend the rest of your life tirelessly working just to afford food. Hey, Natalie, I guess I'm not the one who should tell you that, but if you stay, you'll regret this decision for the rest of your life. You. You created this mess. Now you go solve it. Okay, okay, fine. Why is it empty? Kitchen closes at seven, so you won't find anyone after that.
close your eyes and promise me not to look. Why? Trust me. Can I open my eyes now? Not yet. Now you can. <laughs> this is amazing. Wait. Are you sure we can eat all this food? If you don't tell anyone. Okay. Oh no, that's, that's enough of alcohol for today. What would you like to drink then? Some Coke? Coke. With this fancy dinner? Mm. Okay, I'll try not to judge you. You'll like it today. It was the last one. I doubt today is my lucky day. <sighs> oh yeah. Sorry, I forgot. No, that's okay. Hey, I realize you never agreed to marry me. Yeah, about that. Look, you don't even need to like me. I just need to marry someone officially so I don't end up with that douchebag. I see. Please. Adam. Natalie. You're my only hope. Adam. I'll give you money. Which... No. Listen, I don't need money. What do you need? I'll do anything. I need you to wait here, okay? There's one thing I have to do, and I promise to get back as soon as I can. You're not just leaving me here alone, are you? I'll wait! Here you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. What are you doing here? Look, I'm sorry for cheating on you. This whole wedding planning was putting a lot of stress on me. And when I walked into our room, Madison was already naked there. And I just... You just uh, cheated on me. Yeah. Yeah. I really want this wedding to work out. I couldn't imagine marrying anyone else. But you could imagine sleeping with someone else. Madly. Enough of this nonsense. No. Enough of you talking down to me. You constantly put me down, and you always make me feel worthless. And Adam? He did more in one day than you did in the past three years. He is a poor man you just met who wants to marry you for your family money. That's not true. Nally, you're coming with me now. No. I'm not going to become your slave of a wife. And I don't care how much money you have. You're going to do what I say. Let go of my soon-to-be wife. <laughs> and what you going to do about it? I believe you're trespassing, sir. 911, what's your emergency? What took you so long? Adam? Oh my god. Where'd you get this? I bought it. My wife deserves the best ring out there. Oh, but where'd you get the money? I, I doubt you can afford it with your plumber's salary. Well, 
not a plumber. I was I a, thought I was about to fix a sink in my hotel. <laughs> I kind of own this place. The sink suddenly broke and I didn't want to call my plumber because it was already late. I know you're a little bit shocked, but the moment I saw you in a hotel yesterday, I felt butterflies in my stomach. And I thought to myself, how the hell does this douchebag end up with the most beautiful girl in the world? Since then, I just can't get you out of my head. And everything that happened today it had to be fate. Allie, will you marry me? I visited Grandma today. She made those cupcakes for both of you. When you're done. Mom, Joshua ate mine again. Josh, how many times do I have to tell you not to do this? It's not my fault he's so slow. That's it, young boy. Go to your room now. With pleasure. And next time, Oliver gets to have all of the sweets. It's not like they would be anyways. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I don't have any more cupcakes now. It's okay. I have a test tomorrow. I'll go study. Where's my laptop? Did you take my laptop? No. It's my laptop. I needed to study. You're such a nerd. You know what? Beat me on Smash Bros. If you do that, I'll give you your laptop back. And if I lose first? Then you'll have to do whatever I tell you for a week. That's not fair. If you win, you get way more than me. Fine. If you win, I'll do whatever you tell me to do for a week. Okay. Look what I can do! What? No! No! I've done this move a million times! It always worked perfectly! Give me my laptop back. What? That's only one of the things you have to do for me this week. You must be kidding. I won't let you tell me what to do. There must have been a glitch in the game. But you died first. This challenge was your idea. Fine. But don't expect me to go easy on you after this week is done. Pulled our spoiled milk at the fridge. Drink it. What? No, you can't make me do it. I can, but I can take your switch if you don't. You know what? I have a better idea. You like sweets so much that you always steal mine. Why don't you eat cereal with this milk? I hate you. What was that? You don't need your switch? Fine. Do it. There's still quite a lot left. You're so dead after this week is done. 
boys, I need to leave for work. Can you please clean up the living room before I get back? Yes, Joshua can do it. What? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Josh. See you boys later. Why did you say that I'll do it? Because you're supposed to do everything I'll tell you this week. Fine, I'll do it. Not so fast. Do it in mom's pink dress. At home? <sighs> That's easy. Ain't I pretty? <laughs> Not quite. I think we need to add something. I hate you. Perfect. I want to break free I want to break free <laughs> Oh, by the way, mom said that Nicole will be coming over to pick up all clothes for her baby brother Nicole? No When? Should be soon No, she can't see me like this You have to stay Come in. You can wait in the living room. I'll get a bag for you. Thanks, Oliver. Josh? Is that you? Hi, Nicole. Nice dress. Thanks. And so... You good? Yeah, thanks. You? Me? Yeah, totally good. Totally good. So, you're into cosplays? A lot, yeah. As you can see. I know a dessert shop that has a very cool retro interior. I mean, comics, superheroes, princesses. Cool, cool. Um, would you like to go there tomorrow? Really? I mean, yeah, why not? I'd love to. Here you go. Thank you. So, see you tomorrow then. The week is not over yet. Tomorrow, I'm coming with you. You can't do this. It's gonna be the best day of my life. Want to sit back? Yeah, sure, why not? See, I told you it was a nice place. Yeah, it's pretty. So, what would you like? It's on me. Oh, how sweet of you. Hmm. I would like a cheesecake, please. Okay, one minute. Hi, what can I offer you? I'll take one piece of cheesecake and one piece of chocolate cake. Okay. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. This cake is just so good. I didn't know you like cake so much. I'm sorry. I was just really hungry. No worries. You did pay for it, so I guess you have a right to eat it. I'll buy you a new one. Just wait a minute.
Hey man, you good? Oh, this? Yeah, it's okay. Can I get more cheesecake? Okay. Okay, there you go. Thank you. What the hell are you doing? Nicole, I really like you. You're smart, pretty, really funny. I liked you since the day your family came into our neighborhood. Will you be my girlfriend? Josh, you're acting weird today. I know, I shouldn't have asked. Guys, what you doing here? What's up, brother? Could you guys please explain to me what is going on? It's just that stupid challenge we were doing. What? You were pranking me? No, no, it's just... Look, Nikki, it's all my fault. He was just doing what I told him. We were doing can't say no for one week challenge and I forced him to do all of this weird stuff because I wanted to get my revenge on him. But now I feel stupid because he really cares for you and I ruined everything. I'm sorry guys, I took it too far. So I guess it's over between us. I didn't say so. You guys did some pretty funny stuff today, you know? And that challenge sounds pretty cool. So, would you want to go to the cinema with me? Yes, Josh, I would love to go to the cinema with you. Nice, I can finally see the new Black Panther movie. All right, yeah. I guess I'll watch it next time. You can come if you want. Can I? Sure, why not? Wakanda forever! <laughs> What's up, little man? Ooh, cookies! Too slow. Nah, I'm kidding, bro. Eat as many as you want. Thanks? I thought we should do that challenge again. Nah, I'm good. Hi guys! Did you like the story? Do you know an even better story to tell? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe we'll use your idea in our future video. If you want to keep up with our releases, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish a new, original story every week. See you soon!